Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 31 Calculus, Chapter 8, Applications of Integration, Lesson 6, The Washer Method. Today, we're going to be relating the derivative of complicated functions to the derivative of simpler functions. Now, more specifically, the volume of a solid with a hole in the middle generated by revolving a region bound by two curves. Now, there's a bunch of formulas to go with this. The simple one is going around the x-axis. Volume is the integral from a to b of bracket bracket f of x squared minus g of x squared close bracket dx, where f of x is the outer radius and g of x is the inner radius. So remember volume pi r squared h. Here what we're doing is we're looking at the, well, we're taking r squared minus uh, the radius of the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. Okay. Now, that's a simple formula. If it's about the y-axis, it's the volume is pi times the, the integral from c to d of p of y squared minus g of y squared dy, where p of y is the outer radius and q of y is the inner radius. And revolving along, the, along around, I'm sorry, the line y equals k, volume equals pi from a to b of r of x squared minus small r of x squared dx, where r of x is the outer radius and little r of x is the inner radius. The same thing about revolving with the line x equals h. Uh, volume is pi from c to d integral of capital R of y squared minus small r of y squared dy, where r of y is the outer radius and r of y is the inner, little r of y is the inner radius. Wow, wow, wow. Let me do this example. It might be easier. Now, in all cases, the procedure is the same. Draw a sketch. Determine the outer and inner radii of a washer, set up the integral, and evaluate the integral. So let's do a few of these. So, using the washer method, find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by y equals x cubed and y equals x in the first quadrant about the x-axis. Okay, so, draw a sketch, very first thing. So, in the first quadrant, that's one up here. So this is... y equals x cubed, and then we have y equals x. So we're looking for this area here, this little sliver. Now the thing is, that's revolved around the x-axis. So it goes across the x-axis like this, so it's going to be down here. And, ah, not very good down here also. So we get this sliver here. So it's sort of a cone. Now, here we're going, the outer axis is capital R. The inner axis, x cubed, is small r. Okay? Now, the question is, where do they intercept? That is, what is x cubed equal x? You have to find the two intercept points. Now, it's fairly obvious. You go x cubed minus x equals 0. This is x squared, x minus 1 equals 0. Oh, sorry. That's my apologies. Factor of x, x squared. So x equals 0, or x equals plus or minus 1 x equals plus 1, because minus 1 is outside of our domain. We're in the first quadrant. So, volume is pi integral 0 to 1 of capital R, which is x, minus x cubed squared dx. Now, we see that is pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared minus x to the 6 dx. Now that's fairly easy to integrate. That is pi times, let me see, oh sorry, I'm integrating, I should use square brackets here. That's going to be x cubed over 3 minus x to the 7th over 7 from 0 to 1. 
f of 1 minus f of 0. Now if we plug in 0, yeah, this is going to be pi times 1 third minus 1 seventh, 0, because f is 0. x cubed, 0 cubed, 0 minus 0 to the seventh, 0. So pi times 0 is 0. Anyway, so that's 1 third minus 1 seventh. That is, let me think, pi 7, 7 times 3 minus 3 times over 3 times 7. So it's 4 pi over 21. Okay? So that's the washer method. Okay? Not too, too bad. So I'm recording this. All right, good. Find the equation, plug the numbers in, draw a picture. Sorry, how does it go? Draw a sketch, determine the outer and inner radii, set up the integral, and evaluate the integral. Fairly straightforward ish. Okay. Now let's try one more. Well, there's two more. So, using the washer method, find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region in example one about the line y equals two. Okay. First thing we do, draw a sketch. Here it is. So we're looking for this region here. Now, the thing is, just to confuse you, we're ref we are rotating around y equals 2. Which means we've got this space down here, and if you do some symmetry, it's going to be something like oh crap, something like this. I should just extend this up. Or now I'm doing a crude drawing here. Uh, be something like that. So there we go. It's another cone shape, like that. Now here, my outer. My capital R is, well, x cubed is the other one, so it's going to be 2 minus x cubed. Small r is going to be 2 minus x. See? That's the sneaky part. Once you get that, it's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, right. Volume is pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of 2 minus x cubed squared minus 2 minus x squared. Oh, I'm missing square brackets, right? The x. All right. Now, so we have to foil that out. So volume is pi times the integral from 0 to 1. Uh, this is, let me see now, I'm going to be 4 minus... Uh, minus 4x cubed plus x to the 6 minus 4 minus 4x plus x squared. Now, do I get lucky and stuff cancels out? Yes, 4 and 4. And nope, nothing else cancels out. So volume is pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of... Now, I want to rewrite this in order because I'm weird like that. x to the 6 minus 4x cubed minus 4x... Sorry, plus x squared. Okay. Now, that's pretty straightforward to integrate. is x to the 7 over 7 minus 4x to the 4 over 4 plus x cubed over 3 minus 4x squared over x dx. Oh, dx got out. We just integrated it, so it is from 0 to 1. Now, once again, all the terms of x in it, so it's going to be 
f of 1 minus f of 0, but that's zero. So this is going to be c pi times 1 seventh minus 4 is 1 plus 1 third. Sorry. 4x over 2. I know, I'm sorry, I can hear you talking to me. So that is minus 2. Hang on. I seem to have a plus and minus sign mixed up. Hang on a sec. Uh, let me see. Minus x is x squared. Oh, of course! That becomes minus, that becomes plus once I put the brackets in there. My apologies, minus, plus, so that's minus one third, plus two. My bad, sorry guys. So, pi times, let me see, one seventh plus one minus one third. I know the common denominator is going to be 21, so that's three over 21. 21 over 21, minus 7 over 21, so that is 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 pi over 21, I believe. Now, is that hard? No, but it's friggin' annoying. So, yeah, I'll stop the video here. There's one more example question. But I'll just stop it here for the moment and let you guys look at it and review it. Okay? Any questions, shoot me an email.